Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for February 23rd, 2017. Um, thank you for joining me um, and if you're new, welcome uh, to my channel. This is a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time and what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. And so um, these energies will play out in different ways for different people. Uh, in different areas of life for different people. So I do um, encourage everyone to keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading and then apply it to your own situation if you feel that it speaks to that. Um, so we have some really beautiful cards for today. Um, I would say that love is in the air, definitely. Um, it can be, you know, romantic love. It can be love for friends, family, just feeling loved, loving ourselves, uh, or falling in love with another person, or falling in love with um, a project, with a hobby, with something that we're invested in. But definitely the energy of love is in the air today. Our first card representing the influence of the past on our current situation. This is the Ten of Cups. And so the Ten of Cups is, you know, our happily ever after card. This is a happy completion. Uh, this is something that comes full circle and it gives us great joy. Um, it can also deal with family, thoughts of family, uh, talking about family, uh, family uh, traditions or whatever we you know value coming from family or related to family. Um, it could also be success uh, or celebrations to do with the home. Um, with this energy to do with the a romantic union, to do with children, and again the idea of starting a family. The Ten of Cups is feeling that state of bliss, feeling that state of um, I am perfectly happy with everything uh, in my life and everyone in my life. This is uh, a true blessing and I'm very grateful for the way things are. And with this being a Ten, it is something that has come full circle, something that has um, ended in a very happy way. It brought te uh, tears of joy, it brought uh, celebration, it brought emotional fulfillment, um, and a new way forward, uh, preparing for a new stage in our lives. Today's energy, we have the Empress. The Empress is Venus, so she rules love and money. Um, so with the Empress in today's energy, this is love, this, this is the energy of love. Um, beauty, luxury, growth, expansion, attraction, confidence, it can also represent fertility here. Um, and it can be, you know, in terms of trying to have a child or giving birth uh, during this time, but it can also be a fertility of ideas or resources in terms of you know having a lot of resources available or feeling very abundant uh, with what we have in our lives or who we ha have in our lives. Uh, of course it can represent the energy of falling in love today and again you know love of all kinds. Yes it can be romantic love so if you're looking to meet someone you know this energy says go out meet new people make new contacts feel beautiful and be confident in your own skin um, and it's that's how you attract love with the Empress she doesn't struggle to find love she is love okay she embodies love and that's why more love is drawn to her she's not actively pursuing it she embodies it and therefore attracts more of it so that's the kind of energy that uh, we could try to be in if we're looking to meet someone new. Again, you know, it goes back to ourselves. It starts with us. Uh, if we love ourselves and we're happy with who we are, we attract more of that, okay? We attract more types of love, uh, including romantic love, into our lives. Uh, love attracts love. Like attracts like, okay? It's uh, a simple principle, but it's not always easy to implement. Um, but we are encouraged to use the energy of love today. Uh, of course, this can be a love for our family. This can be uh, our lo a love for ourselves, maybe nurturing ourselves more today, pampering ourselves today with this energy here, uh, getting our hair done, our nails done, 
uh, buying something for ourselves that makes us feel happy, that makes us feel beautiful, that makes us feel confident. Uh, that's definitely something that's recommended for us. Um, and it can also be, you know, falling in love with a project, with a hobby, with uh, a creative endeavor, um, and really giving it nurturing energy, loving energy, positivity, the energy of uh, nurturing it and helping it grow, okay, uh, comes up here with the energy of the Empress. Um, it is an energy that says that it starts with us. So if we feel like we don't have any options, uh, if we believe that we don't have any options, then we're probably not going to see any options. If, on the other hand, we feel confident and we believe that there are options, there are possibilities available to us, um, we are loved, we are blessed, uh, we are protected, then we will start to see this more and more um, around us. And the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with is the Magician. So magic is in the air today, definitely, uh, with the Empress and the Magician here. With the Magician, it's again, as above, so below. So we are reminded to use the Law of Attraction, to uh, use our spirituality um, in manifesting what we want to manifest. The Magician says that we have everything we need, okay? All the resources we need are on the table, are in front of us, and it's up to us to decide how we want to put them together and how we want to use them uh, to manifest our goal, to make our vision a reality. And so this is a reminder that our thoughts become things um, and a reminder of our own power to create, of our own power to um, manifest what we want in our lives, okay? And it does start with us. Again, it's a very simple principle, but again, it's not that easy to um, implement. It's not impossible. It takes some effort, same as anything else that is worth it. Take some effort and a bit of work, um, but it is worth it. And so with the Empress and today's energy, um, we're definitely, you know, going from the Ten of Cups through the Empress energy, we're reaching this new phase with the Magician that is of our own will, our own design. Um, with the magician there, so we have the opportunity to make a childhood dream a reality today, or we have the opportunity to make a dream related to family or home a reality today. Um, through, you know, by using the energy of the Empress, exuding confidence and beauty and the energy of love and, and everything that is beautiful and positive, um, seeing, acknowledging all the blessings, feeling capable, feeling confident, feeling like we can do anything, um, you know, that's how we get to manifest whatever that vision is. And our guidance card is the Grail Knight, number six, and this card is actually about romance, illusion, and seeking the sacred. With this card, love is in the air, absolutely, today. So, uh, if at all possible, show love today. Um, this can be in a romantic sense, you know, show your partner how you feel about them, or uh, show your friends and family just how much you care for them, and show yourself just how much you care for yourself, just how much how much you value um, yourself, and uh, how beautiful you think you are, and how um, deserving you think you are. Okay, that's pretty much the message. That's what we're supposed to do today. Um, and with the Grail Knight, it's about truth and illusion at the same time. It, it goes back to, for example, when you're starting a relationship and you're getting to know the other person. Um, there is an element of, you know, learning about each other and then falling in love with each other the more you learn. But there's also an element of illusion because, you know, we see the world through ro rose-colored glasses and not everything may be exactly as we see it. And the card reminds us not to fear the illusion, not to fear um, what we don't know, okay, um, there, there can't be light without shadow. And so it's that element of let's not expect everything to happen overnight. Let's continue to believe in ourselves and in what we're trying to accomplish 
regardless of how long it takes to come together. Um, let's be aware of all the resources we have at our disposal and appreciate all the blessings and possibilities we do have. But let's also keep in mind um, some things that may be considered a weakness. Okay, maybe for some of us we're very impatient. And so it's one thing to be aware of the fact that I may get impatient along the way and then we can prepare for that eventuality. Uh, or, you know, if we ignore that side of ourselves, then we put in the work and the effort and everything and then when things don't come together according to our schedule, um, we may throw something away because we're not aware of the fact that, hey, sometimes I may be impatient. Um, so it's just really looking at ourselves and accepting and not only accepting but embracing the good and the bad, you know, the things that we are absolutely happy and proud about and the things that maybe we're not so proud about about ourselves. They still are a part of who we are. Uh, we can work on them, we can make them better, whatever it is, but we have to acknowledge them first, okay? And also, you know, find a way to use them to our advantage. It's not running away from who we are or running away from the side of us that we don't like, okay? Um, that's just going to end up making us lose in touch with reality. Um, and we can't really pretend that certain things are not true about ourselves. We can work on them and we can change them, but we first have to acknowledge that, you know, it is what it is. So it's all about embracing uh, and loving ourselves, our friends, our family, our projects, whatever it is, good and bad, okay? The extraordinary with the less pleasant or the uh, strengths that we have, but also the weaknesses we may have. Because it is, you know, everything is part of who we are. Everything has a little say um, in who we are and how we define ourselves and how we got to be who we are. And so for today, it's really practicing unconditional love. Unconditional love is when, again, it's we accept, but not only accept, we embrace who we are, good and bad. Uh, the person next to us, good and bad. Our friends, our family, good and bad. Unconditional love is how we do that. And that's actually what the Empress teaches or part of what she's all about. Unconditional love. She loves and she nurtures unconditionally. She doesn't have expectations. She doesn't expect to get things in return. Uh, she doesn't judge. She embraces and she loves unconditionally like a mother would. Okay. Um, and so it's a really, really beautiful message for today. Lots of loving, dreamy energy here. We can manifest what we love. If it's a dream, if it's a passion, if it's a hobby. We can make new friends or even meet a romantic partner today. We can strengthen existing relationships, romantic and otherwise, today. And more importantly, we can better our relationship with ourselves. Because again, that's how it starts. It starts with us. So it's all about working on ourselves and loving ourselves unconditionally, wholeheartedly. And that's how we attract more love, more blessings, more unconditional love, okay? Uh, we may, again, make some significant contacts today, some loving contacts today. Um, we may fall in love with ourselves today, okay? You know, I'm not perfect, but I love myself for who I am because I'm actually a pretty cool person. Um, and, you know, that's how we kind of transform the energy within and slowly but surely that's what transforms the energy around us as well it does start with us um so it should be a really beautiful day um we are encouraged to focus on beauty today to focus on creativity to focus on love uh things that add to our happiness things that make us joyful, things that make us feel blessed, 
or people that makes make us feel loved and blessed and really really focus on that as opposed to maybe you know the less fun side of things or the less pleasant side of things for today it's a beautiful day for manifestation which is why it's so important that we surround ourselves with positive energy positive people and we ourselves feel beautiful capable confident uh, loved and blessed because that's what we will manifest on the outside as well so hopefully this makes sense uh, and I do hope that it helps thank you very much for joining me and thank you for all your support I truly truly appreciate it thanks for subscribing for commenting um, I read every single comment I try to get back to as many as I can but I read every single one and kind of reply to it in my head um, and send positive energy your way I do appreciate you taking the time to comment and share your experience and share your feedback with me uh, and everyone else reading those comments. It helps our community grow, okay? And uh, hopefully it's a beneficial influence in, in everyone's lives. Uh, we can support each other and learn from each other. Thank you very much for um, just watching my videos, liking them, sharing them. Uh, thanks for following me on Instagram, on Facebook, um, or just, you know, sending positive thoughts my way. I do appreciate it. Um, so let's have a beautiful, loving day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.